chapulines. I'm a bit scared of trying this dish that's been served since the Aztec time. Hey, beautiful people, we are going to Mexico, Puebla. And of course, we are gonna discover lots of mouth-watering specialties. Taco de Biria. It is a taco topped with a beautiful soft meat dipped in a flavorful consomme. And for the first time, we are gonna have a typical Mexican lunch. Marco, this is going to be the best experience you're going to have here in Mexico. We are so lucky because it is the season of the mole de cadera. It is an intense broth, slightly salty, tender, full of flavors. We're gonna finalize today by trying the taco arabe, which started by the Lebanese emigrants. Stay tuned because you will enjoy this exquisite adventure. Salsa verde con carne de puerco, mole con carne de puerco y rajas con queso. Gracias. Buenos días, everyone. Today we're gonna start with a breakfast called tamales. It's very typical in Mexico, by the way. So it is a corn husk which is uh, filled with uh, masa dough, which is corn dough, and you have three versions. One of them is basically with salsa verde, you know, as usual. Another one is with salsa roja for all of you vegans or vegetarians because it is stuffed with cheese. And the third one is it done with mole and chunks of pork as well. And you can always have it with a atole on the side. Marco, está muy delicioso. Te lo recomiendo. Atole is basically milk with uh, corn flour and sometimes they do infuse it with fruits. I like it. It's fruity, milky, have a thick texture. It's very good, beautiful people. So this is the salsa verde tamales. <laughs> it's really good. I'm really curious to see now the second one, which is made with mole. My favorite, it is the mole. I don't know, there's something about this mole. It's spicy, it's sweet, it has a lot of flavors, it's very rich. It is something that you couldn't find anywhere on the planet other than here in Mexico. Beautiful people, are you enjoying my vlogs? Leave me a comment and let me know. Let's go ahead with our next adventure. <laughs> Bienvenidos, están en Vidria Jalisco. Los invitamos a probar un platillo mexicano, poblano, que, que va acompañado de una orden de tacos de vidria de borrego y un plato de borrego. Acompáñenos a probarlo y una quesadilla de vidria de borrego. We're going to try two types of tacos that are very known in Jalisco. Everyone knows this taco as well in Mexico. Anyways, uh, first of all, we have taco de vidria. It is a taco and it has a cheap, slow-cooked meat, which is very tender, and as well, it is served with a consomme on the side. I'm gonna dip it inside the consomme. Oh my God, the consomme looks very, very good. Oh my goodness. The taco de Bidia is definitely on my list and definitely one of my favorite. The meat, it is extremely soft, Lightly spicy, with the consomme, as well as spicy, flavorful. Beautiful people, yes, you should definitely try the taco de birria. So I'm really curious to see this, what is the salsa matcha, because it does look a bit interesting. I'm gonna try it as well. It's very nice, it's spicy, it's sweet. And it has a certain flavor which I can't really explain, but it's really, really good. Quesa birria. So, corn tortilla, cheese, and of course, this very, very soft and tender meat. Who doesn't love cheese? It is incredible. I can eat those every single day. 
But of course, we need to stay sexy. We have to be on a diet, no? Marco, está muy bueno. Lo deberías de probar muy seguido cuando nos visites nuevamente. Hi everyone, welcome to Fonda de Santa Clara. This is a Mexican restaurant founded by my grandmother 56 years ago. Today, Marco, we're going to try chapulines or grasshoppers. It's a typical dish from Puebla. Also, chanclas. It's a really excellent uh, dish that it's a little bit spicy. And our star from a menu, it's enchiladas tres moles. Marco, this is going to be the best experience you're going to have here in Mexico. Trust me. For the first time, we are going to have a typical Mexican lunch. When we sat at the table at the beginning, they gave us pan de agua, which is water bread, and it is served with salsa called martajara. I'm not sure what is it exactly, but I'm sure it is spicy. Anyways, um, as well, we have a bit of lime on the side, which basically I'm sure you can eat it with the bread. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it. I like it. Very spicy. The bread is very fluffy, crispy in a certain way with the sauce. It is spicy, but it is not bad to start with the lunch. Ahora vamos a probar unos platillos mexicanos. Vamos a probar las chanclas que están hechas a base de salsa de chile guajillo con pan y longaniza. También vamos a probar los chapulines, que es un, uh, un alimento, una dieta que comían los aztecas desde hace muchísimos años, cuando les quitan las alas, la cabeza y las patas que van acompañados de salsa borracha y guacamole. So basically, chancla means flip-flops. I know that is a bit funny. I'm not sure why they do call it that way. Anyways, uh, let's try it. It is really, really good. It is stuffed with a very soft blanched pork and as well the sauce is really really good it is basically made from chipotle and chorizo as well lightly spicy and of course with a bit of avocado very refreshing it is truly an outstanding dish chapulines i'm a bit scared of trying this dish that's been served since the aztec time can you believe this it is a very very old dish however i really want to try it so it is fried crickets served with guacamole and a salsa called buracha what about you, beautiful people? Would you try the dish? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'm really curious. The flavor is not bad. It's not something that I tried before. It's bitter, it's crispy, it's spicy, it's slightly salty, with a bit of chili, with a boracha sauce and guacamole, refreshing, a bit weird. I'm not sure what to tell you, beautiful people. But it's not bad, to be honest with you. Oscar! Okay. Vamos a comer un plato mexicano, ¿sí? Okay. So, beautiful people, now we are going to try the enchilada de tres moles. So, it is a very traditional Mexican dish and very popular. It consists of corn tortilla and chicken. And the mole is made from chocolate and lots of chilies. And as well, we have the pipián rojo, which it is made basically from tomatoes and peanuts. It's a sort of curry in a certain way, but it is a mole. And lastly, we are going to try as well the pipián verde, which is made from green tomatoes, tomatillo, and as well pumpkin seeds. Yes. Habla para mí si está bien o bien. ¿Qué tú pensas de ese plato? Okay? So, first of all, I'm going to try the pipián verde, of course, with a bit of cheese. Let's go ahead. Vamos a comer. Oh my god, it's very good. It is a very winterish dish. Lightly spicy, but a very it's a very, very nice gravy to be honest with you. And the cheese reminds me a bit of halloumi in a certain way. ¿Qué pensar de pipián rojo? ¿Está bueno? Está muy rico. Tiene, muy rico, ¿eh? Sí, tiene los sabores que deben de tener como platillo poblano mexicano. Mexicano. 100%. 100%. All right, pipián rojo. Está bien. That's as well very good. The pipián rojo is a bit bitter, likely spicy as well, peanut in a certain way, but definitely a must try. Let's go ahead with the mole. Mm. 
Oh my god! The mole is truly exquisite. It is a flavor that is very unique, by the way. And I can tell you that Fonda de Santa Clara definitely have one of the best mole in the country. Very flavorful, lightly spicy. You have the chocolate. It's a bit sweet. There's a lot of flavors going on. But beautiful people, it is truly an outstanding dish. Vamos a buscar otro platillo mexicano. Hey, beautiful, beautiful people. people! We are sitting at the Burladero. This is my cousin Yusuf. Hi, Mark. Hi, beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm this Alejandro. Is my Alejandro. All right, so we came here for a reason to try something apparently that is very exceptional. Yusuf, what can you tell me about it? Uh, mole de caderas was mole, uh, and it's a typical dish from uh, Puebla. You just find it in Puebla. Is it served in October usually, or you can find it all over the year? October and November, just this season. Alejandro, what can you tell me more about this? sexy dish. The dish is made out of goat meat. Yeah. From that goat, they raised it and they bring it from a state called Oaxaca, which is nearby Puebla. And they travel with the goats coming to bring them here to Puebla, where they're gonna eventually eat him. And they feed them nothing but salt and the least amount of water they can. So they just eat the plants that are in the bushes and everything that's in and that makes it the meat taste much really, more really special yeah it, it's a strong flavor it's a really really nice dish hola marco mi nombre es victor y bienvenido al restaurante el burladero ahorita el platillo que va a probar es el de temporada que es el mole de caderas un platillo muy tradicional poblano que es directo de la matanza de tehuacán now we're having a taco not sandwich of the meat i told you earlier there's two versions of the recipe one is in a broth in a caldo which is called wasmole, and this is just deep fried, and the taste of the meat is excellent. So what we do is we make a taco in a corn tortilla with guacamole, sauce, and a little bit of lime juice. Mm. Buenísimo. It's really that good? It is. You think everyone would like it? Most people would like it. Not vegetarians, but all the rest would. Can I have your dish? Mai? Yeah. And you have Mai? your dish? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> the meat looks very, very tender. And it has the caldo is basically soup, right? Yes, it's like a broth uh, with uh, some chili, with uh, tomatoes. It looks very interesting. And this is the first time where I am going to try it, of course, with my cousin Yusuf. Hi. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh my god, Yusuf, it's really, really good. The meat is extremely tender, lightly salty, and I don't know, it is truly a wonderful dish. When it comes to Mexican food, spiciness is essential in any dish. Este platillo es delicioso. Greetings from Mexico. Mark, te va a encantar la comida. So Marco, now you know that Mexican food is much more than just tacos, quesadillas, nachos. It's not just Mexican food. Mexican food is far more complex. We have beautiful dishes, as you have seen uh, now on your trip. We have seasonal and we have regional dishes that are uh, a, a very, very delicious, food, that are worth exploring. Buen provecho. Salud para todo. So this is a uh, liquor of raisins. I like it. It's good, sweet. Try it, babe. It's not bad. So the Lebanese came to Mexico 200 years ago and they had a strong influence on the food as well. So the taco arabe, you can basically find it everywhere in Mexico and everyone truly loves it. They basically make it with the Lebanese bread, but of course they make it in their own way and you have the lamb meat which is inside. But basically you can find it all over the street with pork. And you add on the top a bit of labne, the chili, onions, lemon, and of course a bit of chipotle sauce, the Mexican touch. I like it, it's not bad. It's really good, it's spicy, it's chili, but it's weird for us when you think about it. You know, we used to have a taco which is the shawarma which comes with the tahini and all those stuff. It's different, it's really crazy, I never knew that. Basically, this dish was created because of the Lebanese. Right, babe? All right, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We'll see you very soon. 
with another adventure, new dishes to discover. Puebla is truly amazing. See you soon. Ciao.